Hey guys, this is Black Metal Gamer here, and uh, I just made a really long video about MUDs, and uh, it turns out that, you know, I, I didn't have my audio recording, but, you know, I don't want you guys to hear that. So, basically I'm going to be showing you a, a MUD today, uh, that I haven't, that, that I have played before, but I, I hadn't got into it. Um, if you don't know what a MUD is, it's, um, it's called a multi-user di dimension or domain. Uh, or dungeon, I think it can be called, called, called also. Um, basically, before the internet was the internet as it is now, we had you know BBSs uh, or you know uh, file tra transfer uh, sort of forums where you could post messages, message board things like that, uh, transfer files. We also had MUDs, which um, uh, we by getting into Telnet, uh, it allowed us to connect to a remote server or remote computer and uh, access files and um, basically uh, by using a remote protocol get playing a game. That's basically what a MUD is. Uh, and I, I, I'd like to show you one of, one, one, a pretty good, what, what in my opinion is actually a pretty good MUD. Uh, it's called Sloth MUD. And here we go, I'm going to show you. Basically I, I le first learned about um, MUDs when I uh, went to Telnet.org, and I first learned about Telnet. Uh, Telnet.org is, is a pretty good website. It t teaches you all about Telnet. It uh, gives you some you know, places to Telnet. Uh, you can, you know, Telnet chatters or talkers or, you know, um, play MUDs. And I was actually going to show you um, one of my favorite MUDs, Shadowlands. Uh, but I really, I, I just realized that um, it shut down, which is which is actually sort of sad because that was one of my favorite muds. It was actually a pretty good mud. Uh, so here I'm going to show you sloth mud. It's one of the more popular muds uh, that are around. I found this mud on mudconnect.com or the mud connector. It's a really good website for finding muds of all kinds: Lord of the Rings muds, <laughs> adult muds, mm, uh, medieval fantasy, anything. And it's it's a really great website. Uh, basically, I'll tell you what a MUD is in a nutshell. Uh, if you like text-based games, you will most likely like MUDs. To me, it's like it's like reading a book, but you're you're actually the character that you know you, you can actually control your character. You don't you don't just uh, assume a role in the character, but not really have any uh, any, any um, part in in making decisions. You can actually you know control what he's doing. And and control him and create him. He's basically it's basically like living in another world, which is really neat. Uh, since I love reading books and I love playing games, this is a really neat experience for me because modern graphical mods such as RuneScape and such, um, such as RuneScape and such. That's funny. Um, I I know that they're, they're they're fun and all, but they don't give you. You can't use your imagination to really see what's in front of you. If if you've ever read a book before, you know, if you've ever read a book before, if well, if you've read a, if you've recently read a book, or if you've ever read a book, which I'm sure all of you have, if you're on YouTube, <laughs> uh, then you know that it's actually it's it's a very unique experience because it brings you to a whole entire other world. You know, you can imagine yourself and immerse yourself in this you know, wonderful fantasy world, or you can immerse yourself in some um, just unique situation and play out a scenario. Uh, and what's really neat about this is just like doing that, except you can control your character. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, now the mud, which is sloth mud, and I'm going to stop babbling for you. So what we do here is we open Telnet by... Uh, you can either um, search Telnet in your, on your operating system. Oh, another thing I, I just remembered to say was... Um, Telnet is included on all operating systems. Uh, it's just called different things. Like uh, in, in um, Linux, I believe it's called uh, what's that called? Console. Uh, I don't know how that works because I, I don't use it. But um, if if you have another operating system and, it, and uh, you don't have Telnet, which is I, I I don't really own another operating system. I use Windows XP, so I don't really know about that. Um, you can download a Telnet client offline. Uh, go to uh, like Putty. P u t t y dot dot com. I think it is dot org. I don't remember. Just type Putty in Google, and it's a great um, Telnet uh, client. Um, you could also uh, find MUDs on MUDConnector dot com. It's a great website 
for uh, finding muds of all sorts uh, to fit your needs. You know, post-apocalyptic, apocalyptic, I think that's how you say it. Uh, you know, muds, uh, fantasy, sci-fi, realistic, uh, you know, just funny muds, whatever you like. So let's go ahead and start. I'll teach you how to use it if you do, in fact, have talent or if you um, want to play mud. We just type O or open to uh, open the mud. We then type the server name, which in this case, we can you can either type the IP address of the server name or the actual website. So it's slothmud.com or org. So that's that's all except for we now have to add the port number that we're going to access the computer in. Uh, if I said that correctly. Uh, for, uh, for most uh, MUDs, the, the default port is, I think, I believe 23 or something like that. And uh, if you don't add a port number on the end, that's what it'll take you to, uh, port 23. And, that, it's some, and, and sometimes, or a lot of times, actually, that won't work because that's not the port that you're, that you're going to be using to get into the MUD. It's different for different MUDs. For this one, it's uh, 6101. Now, for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm going to create a new account, and um, we're going to play it like that. I do have an account. Um, I'm not going to release it, because, uh, frankly, I suck. I'm a noob. I, w I was actually a high level. I was quite a high level. I was six level 61 on Shadowlands, but they closed down. Or they might be updating or something. But I, I, I think they've closed down, which is actually quite sad. Because they've been open for a long time. So let's go ahead and I'll stop bitching. And you can watch me play the game. This is ASCII art that, we've, that we're seeing here. Um, I'm not going to go into detail of what that is. Basically just art using letters and characters. Uh, we're going to name myself... I'm going to name myself... Uru's. Password. Not going to say that out loud. Wrong password. Well, it seems like already someone's already created an account using Uru's. Terrible. All right. So we have to do this again. Sleuth. Six one zero one. Oh, I didn't have an unlock on six one zero one. And we're connecting Sleuth mud. Let's find another name here that I don't think anyone would have. Uh, hmm. Merkwood. A place in Lord of the Rings. I wish you create a new character. Uh, now, with a lot of MUDs, um, you can't see what you're typing, which can be a drag. So give me a password for Merkwood. Let's see. Alright, I'm a male. Now, uh, here's where we pick where we're going to start. What town. Uh, Nubadia, that's the town that you want to select because that's the noob town. Now, if you're new to the game. Here is where we select our class or race, whatever you want to call it. Um, I usually go with uh, Druid or some kind of, you know, magician. But for the purpose of this, just for to be, e just, uh, to be easy, I'm going to be a warrior. Okay, warrior, return to continue. Welcome to Sloth Mud. This version of Sloth, blah blah blah, 1970, 1997, which is uh, pretty old. Okay. Now, ex this is where we can enter the game. One to enter the game. Now, here, this is great. I love muds that use color. So, basically, this is the setup here. Um, here is where our HP is. Here's our mana. Here's our. I'm guessing it's stamina or move. I don't know. So, okay, basically, we just, we can type look to see what's around us. We are at the south gate of Nubadia. A redded dirt roadway leaves, leads north between a pair of squad square towers that mark the southern limit of the thriving community of Nubadia. Heavy traffic moves between a town and the aerial lock docks. I sound like a fucking news reporter. The road is lit by the regularly spaced lanterns hanging from the brass poles. Mountains are visible on the southeast, southwestern horizon. A uh, large sign with info for newbies is here. So we're going to type look sign or read sign. I can't remember. Let's just type look sign so we can read the sign. L o okay. Look sign. 
If you would like to travel through the New Badian School of Mud, please go up. This is highly recommended for all people who are new to mudding or new to sloth mud. Thank you, the New Badian Port Authorities. Okay, Breezewood arrives from the south. A skeleton of Town Elder arrives from the south. Now let's type exits to see all of the exits. Now I'm, I'm going to give you some of the commands that most mods use. Um, you say uh, you, t you can type exits to see the exits of the room. Mods are made up of rooms. Uh, you enter in and uh, basically uh, think of it like RuneScape. How it, well, you can't really think of it like RuneScape because RuneScape is all one open room basically. Muds are made up of rooms, and you walk in and out of rooms uh, that have different objects or people in them. Uh, so here we go. Let's see. Exits. North and the intersection of Main and Fargo Streets. Outside, the south gate is south, and up a glowing transportation chamber. I assume that this is actually going to lead me out of the game, or at, not out of the game, but rather out of the new Badia. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll move my mouse off the screen there. Okay, bam, a glowing transportation chamber. That's uh, okay. The widowless brick, brick chamber is the top of the northern guard tower at the south gate of Nubadia. The unfurnished room is lit by an eerie, wavering red glow. Ooh, the light emanates from a magical portal that fills the room. The portal springs from uh, from an octagonal uh, symbol, in inlaid in the floor, and terminates at. A similar, similar symbol in the ceiling. A narrow stair leads that back down to the south gate. I don't want to do that. Let's go enter portal. Now we're in the portal. For, I want to say one thing. What I love about MUDs is they read like a book. And what I really love about this is you use your own imagination to, you know, uh, put yourself into this world. Instead of it just seeing it right there in front of you, like a picture on the screen, it's like you're actually reading a book, which is really awesome, because it's like a book that you control. Oh, I know how many times I've said that, but I'm going to show you the combat system here. It says that a gray, a gray rat has arrived from the east, so I'm going to go ahead and kill that rat. We type kill rat. And here it gives us the combat screen. It says that I've killed the rat. I gained, uh, wow, 75 experience. Yay! All right, your bro your blood freezes as you hear a gray rat's death cry. That's nice. All right, get my microphone back up. My microphone's kind of broken right now. It keeps on sliding down. Okay, look, Let's see where we are. We're still in the school entrance. Uh, huh. Enter portal. Okay, now we're in the um, transportation chamber. Wait, how many portals are there? There's no portal. P portal? I type portal. Uh -huh. Okay, we're in the same place. Sounds great. Now let's go ahead and read the sign because I may be doing something wrong. Look, sign. See, it says this uh, when you type something that that it, that the um, server doesn't understand. I think I accidentally typed read sign instead of look sign, so let's go ahead and fix that. Now, this is uh, I'm actually sick uh, right now. Wait, just my, uh, my voice sounds a little funny, and I kind of sound like a news reporter. Oh, the weather for today is, you know, whatever. Um, so, I'm going to be doing this all day. Yeah, kind of sad, really. I'm going to be um, making videos all day. This is going to be a whole entire day thing. I'm going to try to get gain uh, quite a few levels, uh, and I'm going to have to cut this video into bits because I know YouTube has a stupid limit. So let's go ahead and, and do this. All right, to return to town, enter portal. Okay. Um down. Let's go down. Okay, now we're at the south gate of Nubadia. Um, note dispenser, button at the top, press button, 